And this is Ms. Wiles, and we're on SMA 4 prep, and this is our second problem that we're looking at. The problem asks you, what is the slope of a line that is parallel to the x-axis? Now, you probably already thought that you could draw a lot of lines that were parallel to the x-axis. There are lots and lots of lines that are parallel to the x-axis, and all of them will be going like this. All of these lines are parallel to the x-axis. So if they're parallel to the x-axis, they all have the exact same slope because they're parallel. Now this is basically, it, it's, it's kind of a definition type thing. Which line, what horizontal line, because we're talking about all of these are horizontal. What is the slope of a horizontal line? The slope of a horizontal line is zero. So you can choose B with confidence if you remember that the slope of every horizontal line is zero. Now, if you think about slope, since slope is rise over run, if I take any one of these lines, I can't really make a triangle to count the rise over the run, but if I am going to, can I rise at all and still be on the line? I can't rise at all. My rise is zero. My rise is zero, but I can run right as far as I want to go. I could go right one, I could go right two, I could go right 150 and I'd still be on that line. So any number, any way that I choose it, since my rise, I'm not going up and I'm not going down, so I can't have any type of real like a one half or anything like that because that's not going to work. I can't have negative one because negative one means I went down one and right one. And positive one means I went up one and right one. And so neither one of those would work at all. So then you're stuck with zero and undefined. Zero is the slope of a horizontal line. Now let's talk about what line has an undefined slope because that could come into play too. Lines that have undefined slope are lines that are vertical. Lines that are vertical have an undefined slope. And here's how I remembered it. I remembered it because if I were walking, I think about like climbing, hiking. If you're hiking, and let me go back to slope here. If you're hiking and you have to, um, and you're going down, a particular slope and your slope is negative it's super easy you can almost run it you don't have to put forth any effort it's like your the gravity is drawing you down so that is a negative slope like you don't have to work hard to do that a positive slope the higher that slope is the more vertical it gets the more difficult it is to climb that slope so that is getting higher and higher and higher until finally you're up a wall and it is almost impossible to climb that slope. And that's why we say vertical is undefined. Any vertical slope, any vertical line where you have x equals 7 or x equals 9 or x equals negative 1, all of those lines have an undefined slope because there is no y. There's not even a y there. You can't even put it in the form of the slope-intercept form of an equation. You can't do that. So vertical, undefined, horizontal, zero. Um, something else to add before I finish with this is that all horizontal lines are going to have an equation that looks like this y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or y equals negative 1.5. Because the x disappeared, which meant that the slope was 0. Over here, the x is there constantly, which means that the slope is undefined. And that's all I have to say about that.